Hi everybody, I'm back and today I'm going to show you all how to make Philly steak and cheese egg rolls. Here's what you will need. You will need one small red bell pepper chopped, one small green bell pepper chopped, one small white onion chopped. You will need thinly sliced steak meat. This is the kind that I like to use. <clears throat> you will need mozzarella, salt, and pepper, and you will need egg roll wrappers, all right? Now, the first thing that I wanted to do is show you. I have a pan here. This is what we're going to cook our meat in, and over here, there's my oil that I'm going to fry the egg rolls in. Now, first thing that we need to do, let's go ahead <clears throat> and grab these bell peppers and onions. We're going to put them right in that skillet. I have just about a teaspoon and a half of oil in the pan to get the vegetables and the meat going. All right. So we're going to start sauteing those up. And then we're going to start adding our meat once the vegetables get a little cooked. All right. So now I have this up on a medium high. If you don't want to use bell peppers, hey, don't use them. If you want to use mushrooms, that's fine. Whatever you like on your uh, Philly steak and cheese, that's what you use. All right, I love the peppers and onions, and I also love the mushrooms in mine, but I'm not going to use mushrooms today. So let's get these nice and sauteed up. All right, once this gets to where I want it, I'll show you how to put the meat in. Okay, everyone, let's chime in and check on our peppers and onions. The, they have cooked for four minutes, and they're exactly how I want them. So now let's just scoot them to the side, just like so. All right, and then I want to take some butter because butter is flavor. I want to take about a tablespoon and a half and put right here for my steak. I want to give my steak some flavor, guys. What better way to use butter to achieve that flavor? All right, now you take your meat, you just kind of put it in here. All right, see this? Just put it in there. I'm going to use a whole box because I'm going to make a lot of egg rolls tonight. All right, but if you were to do just like a, a Philly cheese steak sandwich, you only need one of these. They have two. Let me show you. See how they have two pieces of meat? All right. So we're going to do that just like so. All right. I am so excited for this. I've been wanting to make it, and here we are. We're going to make it today, guys. I'm going to show you all how to make one good egg roll that you would never forget about, all right? Now, we'll just let this cook down for a minute. It's still frozen. Just let it be here in a few minutes. I'll be able to move it around. It'll be more pliable. Now, I'm using mozzarella today. Feel free to use whatever kind of cheese that you like. We're going to season our meat. Let's come over here and we're going to grab the pepper. We'll put some pepper in, some parsley, and salt. All right, let's get back. There we go. Get a good picture. <clears throat> All right, our parsley. I love the color of parsley. We're going to put a little bit of salt, not too much, okay? That's good, that's all you need. And pepper, this pepper isn't open, so I'm gonna use the other one. I know I have another one somewhere. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna put our black pepper on there. There we go, just like so. Now, you want to take two spatulas because you're going to do a motion this way. You're going to kind of pull with one and push with the other, okay? And what that motion will do 
it'll break the steaks apart. They're still nice and frozen, but we can work with it. Right? There we go. All right, let's let them cook a little bit longer. All right, let them be. I'll be right back once they start to cook a little bit more. Okay, everyone, my steak is nice and pliable. Now, we'll go on about doing that motion that I told you about, pull with one and push with the other to get this chopping effect. Okay? See that? Sorry about the noise. I got a little bit of noise going on here. If I had a flat top skillet, I'd be happy. <laughs> there we go. All right, now we're just gonna let this cook. And I'm going to taste my meat once it browns up to make sure that I have the right seasoning that I want in there. You don't wanna have any bland steak. You know, you don't want your steak to be bland. You turn your vegetables just to check on them, just like so. All right, and one thing that we're gonna make sure, you wanna make sure that your mixture cools down before Make sure your mixture cools down before we stuff our egg roll wrappers. Otherwise, your egg roll wrappers will get soggy and they won't turn out right. Okay? See this? This is what you're wanting. Who doesn't like Philly steak and cheese? And who doesn't like egg rolls? I know I do. And I'm so excited. My family's ready for this. I'm ready. And my mouth is watering already. This smells so good. All right, beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, I have this on a medium-high heat. And that butter, like I said, guys, that butter will give you some nice flavor. All right, here's that. Meanwhile... I'm going to start heating my oil up over here, and I'm just gonna turn it on to low. Okay, that way my oil doesn't take too long to heat up when I'm ready to use it. Because, uh, <clears throat> remember, I do have to let this cool down before we use it. So that's why I turned the oil on low. Just to give it a head start, all right? Beautiful steak. Oh yeah, I'm really cooking in here, guys. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put the peppers and onions right on in with the mixture. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. This is how you do it, guys. This right here, this is how you do it. I have a Philly steak and cheese video um, that I did, and I want you all to check it out. And make sure you watch this to the end of the video because I'm going to do a mukbang. And for those that don't know what mukbang is, mukbang is where after I make the dish, I'm going to sit down at my kitchen table and you all will get to see me eat whatever I make. And then I chit chat about a few different things and I talk about the food and what it tastes like. All right. Here's our mixture, guys. Minus the cheese. We don't put the cheese in just yet, okay? Now, I'm going to continue to cook this for a little bit longer till it gets a little bit more brown. Just a little bit more brown. And then, when I come back, uh, we're going to cool this down. I'm going to show you how to assemble these beautiful egg rolls. Be back everyone okay everyone my steak mixture is exactly where I want it it's perfectly done and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drain the oil off of here because I don't want oil egg rolls <laughs> those oily egg rolls that oil that's in there I'm gonna drain all that off I'm gonna set this in a strainer get it nice and drained and cool down and I'll be back Okay, everyone, I'm back. Now, let me show you how to wrap these. These are so simple. Now, let me show you the difference. This one here, see how it's kind of see-through? I only use one wrapper. 
and we'll see how that one turns out okay I wasn't too sure about using one wrapper so what I did on the next ones was I used two and this satisfies me uh, it's up to you guys if you want to use one or two all right now let me show you how to wrap these up it's so simple like it can't go wrong all right now here's what we're gonna do let's go ahead and grab this is what they look like they're sheets all right we're gonna grab two all right take your time and grab two it's sometimes they're hard to pull apart but take your time okay let's see let me get two beautiful all right now here's what we do lay them flat put them in a triangle and you're gonna wet one side all right and then we'll wet this other side oops just like so all right now uh oh let me point down on there okay so what I did was I wet this side with a little bit of water my finger in there wet here and wet there you're gonna put a little bit of cheese down just like this all right you're gonna take some of your mixture and put it there all right I got my oil heating up get a little bit more mixture beautiful now what we're gonna do I like to double it with the cheese so we're gonna do just that a little bit more cheese spread it on out I'm gonna wet this one more time all right I'm gonna pull these sides in pull it in bring this up and literally just start folding all right just start folding it'll seal because we wet the sides all right just like that if your sides are open hey just pinch them no problem there okay see that that's how you make an egg roll all right very simple now our oil let me show you our oil oil is heating up right here soon as it gets soon as it reaches 350 degrees I'm gonna show you how to cook these bad boys be back everybody okay everyone I'm back now my oil is nice and heated up to 350 degrees while I was waiting on my oil to heat all the way up I just went ahead and threw this whole cutting board in the uh, freezer so that these can stay nice and cold all right now here's what we're gonna do we're gonna just throw them in just like so all right let me fix my camera so we can get a good view in on this and just throw them in all right I can't wait to see what that one looks like that I used the one wrapper on I'm excited about that these don't take no time at all no time at all you hear me you want a quick fast uh, snack this is that snack for you you got people coming over this is what you want to make you gonna you sitting at home playing cards on a Friday night with your friends? Make them some Philly steak and cheese egg rolls. Make them some egg rolls. It doesn't have to be Philly steak and cheese. This is so simple, so much fun, and yet so tasty, guys. I cannot say it enough. I am so excited. This is what we're having for dinner. And when they want more, I'm just gonna wrap up a few more. Well, after, after I do this video, I'm gonna wrap up a few more, throw them in the freezer, and when they want them, all we have to do is just throw them in the oil for a few minutes and we're done. All right? You can put any filling you want in these. You can do the cabbage with the shrimp, however you like. All right, here after a little while, I'm gonna start to turn these, okay? because sometimes they'll stay on one side and you don't want just one side browned. But that'll be here after a minute. Let's let it start to get nice and brown and then I'll come right back. Okay everyone, as you can see, these have been cooking for three minutes and they're getting nice and golden brown. So I see that some of them are being kind of stubborn and it's okay. Just take your spoon this way and turn him and hold him. All right, 
here we go and they'll flip back over it's okay don't let it drive you crazy this is so easy <laughs> um, I don't know if you all have seen my crab ragoon video if you haven't seen it check it out um, it's very similar crab ragoon is very similar to egg rolls because you use that egg roll wrapper you put your filling in and you fry it up just like so check that video out a lot of you will really like that crab ragoon video okay these are almost done aren't they beautiful seriously guys aren't they beautiful mm-hmm I'm gonna get another something to hold these ones down on the lighter side so that that side can get well done beautiful just like this my husband will probably eat about uh, maybe five or six of these <laughs> he will he will he loves Philly steak and cheese and he loves egg rolls so I know he's gonna eat about at least at least five <laughs> and I'm going to eat about three, honestly, guys. I really am. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. It is, what time is it? Let's see. It's 9.02 p.m. My video should be uploaded at least by 10.30. I'm excited to release this video to you. I'm so excited to give you give you all any of my recipes and it in hopes that you all try it and let me know what you think about the recipes I love when you guys make my recipes and you comment back and let me know like hey I made something and I enjoyed it and you know and the family loved it I love to get those messages from you all I love communicating with you all look at this almost done guys we're almost to the finish line there's that one right there that I'd use that one wrapper so I can definitely tell right away that I like to use the two so for now on when I make it hey I'll use two no big deal right you learn you live and you learn <laughs> that's the whole purpose of life we live we learn from our lessons and you get better and you get better and you put God in everything that you do and your plans will succeed <laughs> I cannot forget to tell you that your plans will succeed when you put God in everything all right these are almost done I want to get mine's a little bit more golden brown and what I have, I have two dipping sauces. I love ketchup on my Philly steak and cheese sandwiches. So I figured, why not use ketchup for my Philly steak and cheese egg rolls? And then I have a cheese whiz dip that I'm gonna heat up just for 20 seconds and I'm gonna be able to dip those egg rolls down in there, guys. Oh my goodness, you hear me? It's really making my stomach rumble. And I'm sure it's making you all's rumble too. <laughs> all right, these are almost done. I'm gonna turn that one over. And see, it lit really, it didn't take any time. If you wanted to make this because you were having company over, make your mixture ahead of time. Hey, have it in the refrigerator. And then you can do the wrappers. Like I said, do the wrappers ahead of time. I'm gonna start taking these out. But let me show you something. This here is a cooling rack and you put your egg rolls on a cooling rack. And what this cooling rack will allow is air to circulate around the egg rolls so they won't get soggy. If you don't have one of these guys, get you one. All right, let's take our egg rolls out. I'm so excited. And give it time to drain. Don't think for one second you're gonna put these bad boys in your mouth like this because you will have a rude awakening and you will have one burnt tongue. And we don't want anybody to burn, you know, to burn their tongues. So wait, be patient, let them cool down a little bit, okay? So you don't burn your tongue, all right? And this cooling rack will also allow for the oil to drain, all right? Whoops, 
Oh, that one's trying to get away from me, isn't it? Okay, let me turn you over to my cooling rack. Look at this, guys. This right here, this is real cooking. This is real cooking 101, you hear me? Mm, mm, mm. Everybody's so excited over here, and I am too. Oh, I just love the way these look and how crispy they are. Let me turn my oil off. Okay, you all are gonna meet me at the table and I'm gonna let you know what this tastes like. Be right back. Okay, everyone, let's get one more peek before I get to the table. Look at this, guys. Check it out. Check this out. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, everyone, I'm back. Now, let's give these bad boys a try. I had to let these cool down for a minute because they are piping hot and I did not want to burn myself. God bless this meal. Thank you for feeding me another meal. Amen. All right, here we go. Let's look down inside. Ooh, that's hot. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's look down inside of there, guys. Let's look down inside of there. Can you get a good picture? Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to dip this. Look here. I have cheese sauce and I have ketchup. I love ketchup on a Philly steak and cheese. First thing I want to do, let's dip it in a little bit of this dipping sauce here. Oh, mm-hmm. Oh, see, we're really cooking in this kitchen, guys. Take this first bite right there. Take that bite right there, right there, right there. All yours, guys. All right, let's give this a try. Mmm, mmm, so good. Mmm, mm -mm -mm. I love the taste of this. This is awesome. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now let me try a little bit of ketchup on it. Take this bite right there, guys. Right there. There you go. All yours. Bite that right there. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. And mm, so good. It's the perfect amount of cheese when you put put cheese on the bottom like I did. Put your meat and then put a little bit more cheese on top. Mm, you're talking about good. All right, let me. I want some more cheese sauce. Mm, look at that, guys. It didn't get any better than this. Look at that. Look right there. Bite that. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You seen it. You seen it. Mm-hmm. There's no words for that. There's no words for that because you guys seen it. You seen the cheesy pull. Hopefully I can make uh that my thumbnail picture. <laughs> Mm -mm. And, mm, excuse me, guys. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the peppers and onions are so prevalent in here. They're so tasty. Boy, if you're someone that likes peppers and onions and your Philly steak and cheese, make sure you use it because it's so good, guys. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Listen at that crunch, guys. Mmm. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> I am so tired, guys. It's 9.18 p.m. And I gotta go to work in the morning. Mmm. Oh, I dropped some in my ketchup. Well, this is so good. I got two egg rolls. This is two that I chopped up. Look at this crispy. Look at that crispy bit right there. Isn't that beautiful? Mmm. Mmm. I wish you guys were here and you could eat this with me. You could taste it. I wish you. I wish I had smell-o-vision. A lot of you tell me 
And it's so funny. A lot of you tell me, I think I can smell it. <laughs> Some, somebody told me, she said, I can smell the food through the phone, Gina. <laughs> I told her, I said, well, good. I think I must have uh, smell a vision then. Mm. Ooh, when you dip it in this cheese, boy, is it good. Mm. Hands down. Best egg rolls that I make. Philly steak and cheese. Get you some, guys. If you never made it, make you some. Mm. It's so easy. Give me a little bit of ketchup, too. Mm. Mm. I love that crunch. I love that crunchy pieces. Mm, mm, mm. Mmm. 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 So good. Mmm. Mmm. For the holidays, I'm thinking about doing like a live Q and A where you guys can ask me questions and I'll give you answers, or you can ask me, you know, whatever you want. Or we can just chit chat. I'm thinking about doing that for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. I love Thanksgiving. And I'm going to do like a Thanksgiving dinner special where I'm going to, I'm going to video every single meal, every single meal that I make for Thanksgiving. I'm going to record it and you all will get to see how my holiday meal is. And you guys, and I'll introduce you to my family. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Well, that's so good. Mm. Give me a little bit of cheese sauce. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look right there, guys. Mmm. 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 That crunch is out of this world, right? Mm. And you know what? Like the uh, when you wrap these, I look a mess, guys. I don't care. As I told myself, I was going to get this video in no matter what. You hear me? Um, what was I going to say? Oh, what I was going to say is the wrap. No matter how you wrap your egg rolls up. As long as you put a little bit of water around one or two of the edges, it will stick. And it doesn't fall apart when you cook it. You don't have to worry about that. As long as you wrap it and you feel it seal up at the ends after you're done with that last roll, hey, it's fine. It's definitely fine. Look at this. Look in the middle, guys. Can you see the green bell peppers, the red bell peppers, and that cheese? This right here is to absolute die for. Mmm, we is hot. It is so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Boy, that's good. Mmm, you didn't get no better than this, guys. This is a dinner I can definitely have again. Two egg rolls. I got a Pepsi over here, guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 Get a little bit of my drink. Oh, so tasty. I wish you all a great night. Mmm. I wish you all a great week. I'll be doing a couple videos on Friday. Friday will be my day off. If you all enjoyed this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe.
And make sure you click that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload an awesome video. And as always, God bless, have a great night, and thank you all for watching. Good night. One more look at this, guys. Look in there. Look, 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 look. Good night. Let's see, I can't pause it.